to play football at Kirkwood is, I'm trying to think of, what's the Varsity Blues, it'd be something similar like that. It's a community where they breed football. I say when, the, when it's Friday nights, whole town comes out, we probably played in front of more people than a small, small college or so. We probably averaged a couple thousand fans at the games. Thanksgiving days, um, Turkey Day, you play in front of 12 to 15,000 fans. Um, people, if you play play football at Kirkwood, you always come back out to support. You're always looking out for the um, for the guys coming coming after you because you want the program to be successful. Um, so you play to win. I said I play with a lot of a lot of good athletes, a lot of people who um, a couple of them are playing in the NFL right now. I know Jeremy Jeremy Mack when he plays with. With the Eagles, played with two years with him. Mike McNeil, he's out with the Panthers right now. I want to say he left the Rams, went to the Panthers last year. Uh, but it's it's everything that I would want. It's everything that I would want for if I had a son for him to go to high school and play there. I had originally when I first got back from uh, from college, uh, we had the the Rage was out here at the particular time. And then when they left, when the Monsters came back, it was like, okay, I've always wanted to play arena football, um, been interested in it, seen it on TV. Um, I remember when we had the, I want to say it was the Renegades. So when they came out, it was an opportunity for me to, to really give it like, I would say, a shot to see, really test to see where I was at from a, from a competitive standpoint. What skill level I was really on and could I actually make it? And playing with the Monsters, it really helped me grow and have a lot of success year two playing with the attack. Um, the the first game I remember, um, I started the first game, and unfortunately for myself, we played against a guy um, who played with Corpus Christi. He used to play in the NFL. And long story short, so I probably played the worst game I ever played in my life, and uh, ended up playing in a couple games. Ended up getting traded to another team, playing against the Monsters, getting picked back up. And um, just going through the season, I learned I learned a whole lot about um, about the game of arena football. I learned a lot of I learned really to appreciate uh, the opportunity that you have, and to really um, to really give 100% every time you go to practice, every time you play the game, every opportunity that you get because it's really a privilege. It's not it's not something that's that's just that's given to you, that's owed to you. It's something that you have to earn and bust your butt in the ring of football because each week the roster can change. You could be on the the what is it, the um, the 19 man roster this week and next week you might be the odd man out because we only keep the starters. So I mean it's either you're the best of the best of the team or you're not on the field the next week and somebody else can come in and take your spot. So transitioning to it the later portion of the season coming back with the monsters, um, Start playing really well. Uh, really busting my butt in practice. Didn't give up on it. Uh, finished the last game of the season. I, I think I really started to break out. I uh, had two interceptions. Took them both back to the house. Had um, didn't give up a single pass. Had a bunch of tackles and everything like that. So I mean, going into the next year playing with the St. Louis Attack, it was really a uh, it was really just redemption more or less than anything. I was really out to prove something. Really to prove to myself and prove to everybody else in the uh, in the league that I really belonged here and that I wasn't just some guy that was going to be on the roster but I was really going to make an impact and each game each practice it was just just waiting for that first game when we played uh, the Atlanta or Georgia Rampage we played the first game didn't give up I think I gave up one pass but I didn't get an interception and it really bothered me because um, one thing that I realized is and it was just like playing playing any other time when you, they don't throw the ball at you unless the guy's covered. So, I mean, I really just took it upon myself to take advantage of every opportunity. And I, I had the mindset that for every mistake that any team made, I was gonna make them pay for it. And I was gonna do everything that I could to um, to win, to make sure that my team was in the best spot to do it. So, second game of the season, we played against the Alabama Outlaws, had two interceptions. Um, and just just really bust my butt because I know how much I know how much our front office and our owners put into the input into the team, and I knew that we were pretty much we weren't the laughing stock of the league with the monsters, but we had a five, we were 500. 
And the next year was like, this is the first year to actually, new team, new name, fresh start for everybody. Let's go out there and let's prove something. And this season, that's what it was really about. It was just really more or less about just proving I am exactly who I said I am. And has to, had a lot of success, finished Defensive Player of the Year, finished all X League, made it to the championship game. Um, and we, we ended up coming up short. So, I mean, going forward, I've been waiting literally for six, seven months for the for the season to start back. For myself and for the team is, is this championship a bus, to be honest with you. I say it's not we want to win the division, we want to win the championship. We want to host the championship game here again this year in June because I feel like our fans deserve it. And we want to go out there and we want to really dominate and bring home that championship for the St. Louis Attack fans. The fans are here in St. Louis are, we got the best fans. Like the, the teams that I've played against when we go there is different. Our fans are, they're here early. They're here when we're in warm-ups. Um, they're loud and they, they really help fuel us. Um, a lot of games, we um, we could have let a lot of games slip away, but hearing the crowd get behind us, hearing the cheers and seeing the kids um, every time you score a touchdown, every time you make a big play, seeing the excitement in their eyes. And it's like, when you want to give up, you can't because it's like we, we got the 12th man in the X League here in St. Louis because we, we've got the loudest stadium. We've got the best fans here. I think we our fans won the best fans last year in the X League. So um, it's, it's truly a great experience. Being able to play professionally in my hometown, I would say um, when you, in St. Louis, everybody asks you, where'd you, it's not, Where'd you go to college? Is where'd you go to high school? At? So, a lot of the people in St. Louis, they they know who you are. They know how talented you are, and then you always get the questions of why, why aren't you going to play X Y? Why aren't you playing at a different place? And playing here is it means a lot to play professionally, but it means a whole lot more for a lot of the guys who are underdogs um, to really get out there and really prove that hey, I am just as talented as a lot of these other guys. The guys is playing different arena leagues, AFLs, CFLs, things of that nature. So, I mean, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot for my peers and my family and everything like that to be able to come out to see me play and be able to come support me. And a lot of them, um, just 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 seeing the kids that, like, I coach football, so, um, so having those kids be able to come out there and watch me play and really be a role model and be able to show them, hey, you know, this is how you, this is how a professional is supposed to carry themselves on and off the field and being that example that they need. I'm looking forward to it. Um, last year, I mean, it took a toll. I would say that I really didn't understand it until we got into until midway in the season because we practice more than any other team in the league, I would say. So we practice at 9, 10 o'clock at night, and we keep going. But in the games, it really pays off because when the other teams are getting tired and they want to quit, we're charging up. And that's how we're really able to separate ourselves from anybody else. That's when we really put the nail in the coffin because fourth quarter and the game's on the line, this guy doesn't have the legs to run that now and run down the field. I still have my legs. And um, our receivers are ready to make plays. And we, we really want it. So, I mean, for me, it's just how do I take myself to the next level and really just going 100% every practice and making the guys around me better? Do I make the other defenders better? and really um, just playing my role and doing my job and whatever it takes to, uh, for us to get a championship, to be honest with you.